How do I know what inside of a gentleman's tub smell like you ask? You in my business? Don't do that. You in my business? Don't do that. All I know is you smell good. You smell good. Well going people and welcome back to my YouTube channel and if this is your first time on my channel a special welcome to you as well I do hope you stick around and subscribe in today's video as you can already see from the title I'll be talking about some of the fragrances from the house of by Killian so if you're interested to know my thoughts please continue to watch a little back in story for those who know nothing about Killian his full name is Killian Hennessy yes you know the Henny, yes. He is a patriarch to the Hennessy Cognac Company. During his years at uni, he discovered his love for fragrances. And then after he graduated, he, you know, he studied with the greatest noses in perfumery. Then he went on to work with Christian Dior, Alexander McQueen, Paco Rabanne, Giorgio Armani. Yeah, all them good places, yeah. And then in 2007, he decided to launch his own brand. Hence we have by Killian. Are we all caught up? Yeah, let's talk about perfumes. I'm always telling people to get samples before coming into a full bottle. And that's exactly what I did. I went on the Killian website and I got five samples. Thing is, I wasn't allowed to choose the samples that I wanted. These five just came in a pack. Comes in this cardboard black envelope, which has the K at the front. The perfumes or the samples, I should say, are sitting in a sponge casing. The names of the perfumes that I have are Good Girl Gone Bad, Straight to Heaven, Love Don't Be Shy, Black Phantom, and Moonlight in Heaven. The first fragrance I want to talk about is Good Girl Gone Bad. This is known as a fruity floral fragrance and it was launched in 2012. This opens with Jasmine, May Rose, and Osmanthus. For those that don't know what Osmanthus smells like, Osmanthus has this fruity aroma that usually smells like peaches and apricots. It's normally used to blend fruity and florally notes together in a sweet and natural way. For Good Girl Gone Bad, the opening, I get a green fruity floraliness. Obviously, you know, you get the peach from the Osmanthus. Then you get the Rose de Mai and the Jasmine. You get a slight, when I say slight, I mean slight citrusiness from the orange blossom. But then for the middle, you get this well-blended, creamy, milk-like tuberose that then transcends into golden amber and cedar wood. Good Girl Gone Bad is suitable for like the spring, summertime. This is just a light feminine fragrance with great lasting power. Sillage and projection is between moderate and strong. I absolutely love this. I mean, the lasting power for this is amazing. But here's my issue with Good Girl Gone Bad. Listen, yeah. The issue that I have is that it's in the name. It's called Good Girl Gone Bad, but this girl is still good. She's not gone bad yet. Do you know what I mean? Good Girl Gone Bad is a soft white floral with fruit nuances and a woody dry down. You get me? Like this smells heavenly. This should have been called Good Girl Gone to Church. Cause this smells, as I said, heavenly. <laughs> you know who I imagine wearing this fragrance? Take your pastor off your church and take his firstborn. Do you know what I mean? The one who sings on the choir, the one who's the head teacher for the Sunday school, yeah? take her we're not talking about her sister the second born because she's the devil do you know what i mean she's the one who misbehaves and always in trouble we're not talking about her we're talking about the first born she's prim she's proper she speaks to everyone she's just so angelic do you know what i mean she's the one who wears this fragrance but hear me out after wearing good girl gone bad this is where the gone bad bit comes in do you know what i mean she starts to wear this fragrance and then she gets this urge to do the worldly stuff and the ungodly things do you know what i mean and that's how she gets bad see what i did there yes this is good girl gone bad Next up, we have Straight to Heaven. This was launched in 2007, and it's known as a woody, spicy fragrance for men. But if you're like me, you wear anything, even though it's targeted to men. The perfumer behind this is Sidoni. And what I've noticed about this fragrance is that it doesn't have a top, middle, or base notes. All the notes are just there. They're like just combined together. I think she and Killian just sat down and they're like, you know what, just chuck everything in. Later we can decide who and what goes where, do you know what I mean? But they didn't come round to it. 
The opening for Straight to Heaven smells of dark rum. And to me, the dark rum smells like it's been aging in a barrel for years. And I'm assuming that's the cedar trying to creep up from the dry down to come to say, guys, I'm here and I want you to know that I'm not only in the dry down, I'm in the opening as well. But then you get some smoothness from the vanilla and then you get this explosion of spiciness from the nutmeg. And guys, there's patchouli. You see the patchouli in here, it's dirty and it's eccentric. Do you know what I mean? But it's not at the level where you'd hate it. It's right at the level where it just adds body to this perfume. But then the musk comes in to soften everything out. Then it gets rounded out nicely with this golden amber and cedar wood. This is sexy and this is intoxicating. This slightly smells like the inside of a gentleman's club. You know, like an hour after they open, all the men start to come in, they start to buy the drinks and to start like smoking and that. Like that's what it smells like. How do I know what inside of a gentleman's club smell like you ask? You in my business? Don't do that. You in my business? Don't do that. Sillage and projection is low and longevity is trash. Killing for £185 for 50 mil, do better. I'm out here trying to call David Copperfield because I'm like, listen, you need to put straight to heaven in one of your shows because it's out here doing a disappearing act. Like, don't play with me. This is a sexy, intoxicating, seductive fragrance, but the longevity is such a bloody letdown. Guys, when I say this smells good, it smells good. But like two, three hours of my hair, like what's going on? I can't smell nothing. Like, if it lasted longer, this would have been a banging fragrance. But because of the longevity, mm, this is straight to heaven. Next up, we have Moonlight in Heaven. This was launched in 2016 and it's known as a aromatic fragrance for men and women. This is just a nice tropical scent. Like it opens citrusy fresh with the lemon and the grapefruit. And then here comes the juicy, ripe, mouth-watering mango along with the creamy coconut. Guys, there's even rice in here. The rice note in here adds this distinctive smell to this fragrance and it's just lush. Now for the dry down, this is where the pepper emerges for me and then that gets mixed in with vetiver and tonka beans. I'm not gonna lie, I get this clean laundry smell from it as well, but musk is not in the notes, but this is just so nice. This is the perfect summer evening scent. Say you're on holiday in a nice exotic tropical country and like, you know, it's time for it's time for dinner and like you get up off your sunbed, you know, nice sun-kissed skin. It's time to take your shower, get ready and then you spritz this on. Oh my God. I don't want to be cheeky and I don't want to come off as a C-U-N-T, but if you had sprayed this and I got a whiff of it, I would think this was something from the house of Escada. You know how Escada always comes out with these nice tropical scents and that? I would think it was from there, do you know what I mean? But this is like a tropical scent, but it has an edge. Does that make sense? Longevity is six to seven hours. Siage and projection is moderate. This is just a nice tropical scent that makes you think about going on holiday and soaking up all the sun. This is Moonlight in Heaven. Next up, we have Black Phantom. This is a warm, spicy fragrance for men and women. This was launched in 2017 and the scent was inspired by pirates infiltrating the Martinique rum trade. On the bottle of this fragrance, there's this Latin phrase that says memento mori. This translates in English to say, remember you must die. This phrase originates from back in the Roman times when the Roman general was being paraded through the town after being triumphant and you'd have this servant standing behind him, whispering in his ear, telling him, you know, memento mori. Remember you must die. Remember you're a man. You know, remember you're mortal. I just think this was just to keep him grounded. Not because you just won this war or because you were victorious, being you can't die. Reading up about it, I think that there's like this special message that we can use in today's life. I don't think the phrase is meant to be morbid or to promote fear but to inspire and motivate yes we're all gonna die one day but what are you doing about life now do you get it yeah on the first spray i get tobacco for some reason but tobacco is not in the notes shocking but the opening for this fragrance smells like the deepness of batman's voice oswald cobblepot 
What is it about this place that attracts criminal scum like you? Wait, what? Does that make sense? Because that makes sense to me. You know the rugged roughness of Batman's voice? That's what the opening of this fragrance reminds me of. This starts out bitter with the dark chocolate. You know what? Think about a Irish coffee with rum instead of the whiskey. Does that make sense? Do you know what? Let me paint you a picture, yeah? So it's the Black Phantom Irish coffee. So you get your glass and you put your sugar in. Then you pour your hot coffee in and then you mix in your rum, yeah? After you mix in your rum, like a whole heap of rum, because this fragrance is boozy yeah mix in all the rum that you want and for the cream that you have on top we're gonna froth some almond milk yeah because there's almond in this fragrance but before you put the almond milk in we're gonna put a pump of caramel syrup yeah baby we're keeping this sweet and boozy yeah and after that one pump of caramel syrup then you're gonna pour the almond milk that you whipped on top and then for like the garnish or whatever you're gonna shave some bitter chocolate and just sprinkle some on top i'm not a coffee drinker but that sounds absolutely delicious yeah mm -hmm. this fragrance is suitable for both men and women like a tall dark and handsome in a suit a boss ass bitch listen this fragrance is rich it's deep it's boozy it's nutty it's creamy it's caramelly this is an amazing gourmand fragrance this is suitable for autumn and winter siage beast projection beast longevity beast this listen killian you won me over with black phantom like ring my line send me a pr killian call me send me a pr package like you know you want to yeah black phantom is 10 out of bloody 10 this is beast mode and that's on who mary had a little lamb and that's on who mary had a little lamb this is black phantom and lastly we have love don't be shy but i won't be reviewing it in this video because i want to do an individual review i recently got a full bottle you know what the packaging and everything is just a one like let me give you a sneak preview do you know yeah a little no 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 too much too much you're gonna have to watch the videos my love yeah yeah we've come to the end of the video my loves i know sad but that was my take on four of the killian fragrances i'm gonna try my best to have the love don't be shy a video out a couple of days after this one you guys have to bear with me but give me my props i have not been doing too bad in the consistency part of things do you know what i mean but i'm trying guys i'm really really trying if you enjoyed this video, which I hope you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up by clicking that like button. Let's have a proper chin wag in the comment section. Tell me what you think about Killian. Do you have a favorite? Listen, let's have a proper chin wag, yeah? Share this video with a mate and don't forget to subscribe before you go. Come on, man. Join the family, la. What are you waiting on? Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. This opens with Ray Ramos, Ramos, Mayros. Ray Why would I say Ray? Ray? Like it opens citrusy fresh with oranges. It's not oranges, it's lemon. <laughs> it opens with lemon. <laughs> it's not oranges. <laughs> Siage and projection is six to seven hours. And look, Siage and projection is six to seven hours. Girl, get, get up, turn off the camera, get up. Longevity is six to seven hours. <laughs> And it's known as a spicy warm fragrance for men and women. Did I just kick the and I kicked it again? <laughs> Donut. <laughs> like, what's your favorite from Killian? Have you heard from Kill have you heard from Killian? Why would Killian be messaging me? Hmm? Why would he be messaging you?